I'm out here in a job today near Ride. Um, the customer called me yesterday. They're with Tangerine and uh, basically said, you know, moved into the apartment, plugged the router in, and nothing happened. And so, you know, I just thought, oh, it's got to be an MDF jump ring issue. And uh, that'll be that. I'll come out nice and quick, nice and cheap for them. So, first thing I seen when I plugged in my toner in their apartment was there was a short circuit. So we got a short circuit tone on it, tested the cable with the lines test set and yes there was a short circuit. So the problem with these types of things is when there's a short circuit in these apartments and as you can see this is a huge a huge place right so I'm just walking to the IDF now for this building. I'm just coming back from the MDF. Uh, it's like a couple of minute, five minute walk uh, to the MDF from here. So first thing I need to do is fix the, or well, identify their cable down at the IDF. All right, so the way you do that when you've got a short circuit on it, because you're not going to be able to send a tone down, right, unless all the books are updated. Um, you know, bloody hard to find, right? So, let me just go under here. I thought I'd be finished in here, but I'm back again. So, this is their idea. And I worked out, let me just get my buzz up. So, it should be 10, 20, 20 30, 40, 50, 60. That one there. Right, so basically what's happened, that is my pair there. And you can see they're all cat fives coming down. So what I did up in the in the apartment is I put it onto the orange white, the second pair, because the first one, the blue white here, has a short circuit and it wasn't sending any tone down to here, right? So as you can hear, I'm getting my tone. Now on once that's coming down to here, which I don't know if there's this one. That one there. And that says A one hundred and it's going to that four beach heart. MDF, which is where I just came from, but that tone is not turning up on that pair at the MDF. So I'm going to need to find another pair on here that's working and send the tone down. So it's gone from a simple job and they've got a bridge tap inside the apartment, right? So um, it's gone from an MDF jumpering service to removing the bridge tap, then to removing an open circuit from the apartment to the IDF and now there's obviously an open circuit from the IDF to the MDF so hopefully this will be the last fix I need to do I'll, I'll keep you updated okay so I've now put the jump up into here all right so pair 91 of this A block 1 to 100 and now let's go back to the MDF and see if we can find it now. Okay, almost there. So, there's this MDF. Nothing on it. Didn't even know it was an MDF. I had to go and find the uh, building manager. Right, so now here uh, is where I should be. I'll focus. There you go. Yeah. And nothing. What the hell is going on here? Oh, it's there. Wow, well, I bet you they've done a, a join. Yep, 60, 70, 80. So it's leaving there on 91 and it's turning up here on 73. 
alright, so I guess somebody's done us a cut over or something and mucked it all up. That's why they're having problems, alright. Anyway, so now I'll run the jumpers up to here and finally spend two hours coming out here for a jumper and job. Usually takes me 15 minutes, 10 15 minutes, but here almost two hours trying to work all this out. So sometimes UMDF jumpering doesn't go as planned, but we are at the end now because I finally got it here. Alright. Oh yeah, forgot to say, so this from start to finish this job's been a nightmare. Um, even so the tangerine, uh, I said to the customer, usually when I say to the customers, you know, make sure you get your, your cable details first, you know, your channel pairs. Then she said, oh, I've sent you an email with the, with the channel pairs and I've had a look what tangerine said it. And it was like C3PO, I'm serious, that's what it said. C3PO 11000000, something like that. But as you can see, channel pairs don't look like that. That's, how the, that's the numbers that I should have been getting. So then it was half an hour on the phone to her and then to a level two technician who got in contact with MBN and finally gave us the right channel pair. So now, hopefully the channel pair's right and I can run it up, jumper it, and it'll all be done. So this one, wow, it's taking forever. Hey guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up like a bridge tap or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service, or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed, um, we provide a range of services to help you out. There'll be some links underneath this video um, and you can click on those links and they'll take you through to our website where you can book my service. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.